Evet, just go. That's monkey. I'm about to start my session. Hello, hello. Just giving one everyone a second to jump on board. Hello, Nogulunga, Nuluazi Makoba. Hello, Kid Millie. 
just giving everybody a minute or two to jump on board. We've got a bit of um, a freak storm in Johannesburg, so please just don't be shy to 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 notify me if maybe the sound is maybe being overshadowed by the rain or by the thunderstorm. Um, just drop a comment on the comment section and tell me if my sound is a okay. Drop a comment and notify me if you can hear me loud and clear. All right, lovely. So welcome to introduction to Forex. Um, the journey to forex trading with OctaFX and myself, Prince Mkokeli Mambofu. I will be your speaker for today. Um, so just drop in your comments where are you guys from. Uh, from South Africa, Johannesburg, and you're enjoying the rain with us today. Please just drop a comment if you're from anywhere around the world. Just drop your flag. And let's hear it. Let's hear where you guys are from. Okay, Cram says the sound is okay. Unugulunga um, says the sound is okay. Yes, we're having a storm this side, and I'm sure you guys can hear it. But as long as it's uh, not too much of an issue in terms of sound, everything's a thumbs up. Just drop a comment where you guys are from. You're from Johannesburg from Cape Town, from around South Africa, from a uh, neighboring country, just drop your flag. Tabi is from Cape Town, South Africa, my hometown. It's lovely. We've got Cram from Johannesburg in Bramfontein. We've got Nogulunga, we've got uh, Lindan in Rwanda from the Eastern Cape. How oh, lovely to see you. We've got Anele from Cape Town. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, everybody. We've got Gatle Ho Simon from Johannesburg enjoying the rain with us. We've got Ntoko ZC from KZN, a Harding. Welcome, welcome, to. Just drop your flags if you're from another country, maybe a neighboring country, if you're from anywhere around Africa, around Europe. Just drop your flag and let's see where you guys are from. We'll, we'll get started in a second or two, just giving one an opportunity to get to join the, the live webinar. We've got Anesi Po from Cape Town. We've got Sitembi So Tobani Ndunge from Johannesburg. Welcome. All right, so looks like we've got a whole lot of South Africans. Welcome, guys. Uh, we're going to start our session now. As I mentioned, this is our journey to Forex trading. So once again, I do welcome you to Introduction to Forex, where we'll be covering um, the basics, the introductions of uh, the forex trading industry, specifically what forex is and how the forex industry works. Okay. So just a disclaimer before we get started, um, any opinions, news research, analysis or information discussed in this webinar or linked to this presentation is regarded as general commentary, guys and does not constitute as financial of investment advice. So as I mentioned, uh, we'll be covering a couple of different uh, parts of content around 
uh, what Forex is, uh, primarily how to earn in the Forex industry. Uh, we'll be talking about currency pairs, uh, more basics such as pips, the point systems of how we calculate in, in Forex. Uh, we'll be talking about lot sizes, uh, the bid and the ask price spreads, and how to open your very own OctoFX account and get yourself started in the journey of Forex trading. All right, so let's kick it off and get started. So what is Forex? So Forex firstly is an abbreviation for the word foreign exchange, all right? So Forex is the foreign exchange market, which is the global marketplace where nations uh, trade currencies, right? For example, uh, the United States dollar against the South African Rand, which is the ZAR. So the Forex market is the largest and most liquid market in the world. With really we are uh, exchanging and trading up to six to seven trillion dollars. All right, so you can understand and see how massive this industry is and that when you get involved in this industry, it is very, very lucrative, it is very volatile. All right, so we trade different uh, instruments such as currencies, commodities and cryptocurrencies. So just to uh, make a note before I forget, make sure you guys have your notepads and your pencils or your pens so you can write down everything that uh, we're going to be jotting and talking about now so you don't get lost. And also that, as you know, we are running this, um, this course and you are going to be enjoying your certificate at the end of this journey. So make it worthwhile by making sure you grab as much information as you can. All right. So uh, trading Forex. So what is Forex? Forex is the trading of exchange rates moving up and down. So when we trade Forex, when we are trading the, the movement of price as the price of the, of the Forex uh, currencies move up and down, all right? So we make money in the Forex market by determining if price is going to go up or if price is going to go down. When price is moving up, you make money by placing a buy trade at the lowest point or at the lowest price point. When price is going down, you make money by placing a sell trade at the highest price, all right? So you can make money when price goes either direction, whether it's up or down. So when price moves down, you make money by placing a sell trade. So as you can see, I've got an illustration um, on the right-hand side. So at the bottom there, we've got a sell, and we've got an illustration of uh, a chart that is going down. So when price is moving from the highest point and going down, you make money as price goes down, all right? And this in the forex industry is what we call the bear market, okay? So when price moves, you make money by placing a, a buy trade. And when price moves up, this is what we call the bull market in Forex. All right, so we've got our bear market where price is going down. And we've got our bull market when price is going down, going up. So the key thing to remember here is that when you place a sell trade, you are saying that you think that price is going to go down. And when you place a buy trade, you are saying you think that price is going to go up. Okay. So I've got in front of us here a Forex chart, which is an illustration. This illustration basically illustrates price moving against time. All right, so at the bottom, you can see um, in the illustration on the right hand side, 
we've got time at the bottom, which shows us the illustration of time as price moves. And on the, on the right hand side of the chart, we've got price as price fluctuates up and down. So the aim is to buy when you see a pattern on the chart that indicates that the price will go up and sell when you see a pattern that indicates that price will go down on the chart. So obviously, as time goes by in the coming uh, webinars, we'll be going more in depth than that. So in Forex, you can make money by, make money by buying and selling at the correct price level. All right. Or you can also lose money by buying and selling at the incorrect price level. OK, so we'll be talking more also about forex brokers. A forex broker acts as the middleman for retail traders. All right. So they give us access to the forex market. They link buyers and sellers. So it's very important to find a trustworthy broker that you can trust because these are the people, or these are the institutions that are, give us access into the trading market. So OctaFX is the recommended broker that is regulated, that also gives us amazing, amazing, amazing different perks that we can enjoy as we trade, all right? So they've got very low spreads. The uh, trade execution is very speedy. They've got no deposit and withdrawal fees. And the local transfer fees or local transfers are instant. Okay. So they've also got very amazing promos and bonuses that you can enjoy as you trade in your trading journey. So currency pairs. In Forex, we change, we trade the exchange rate between two different currencies. For example, we've got the United States dollar against the, uh, uh, the South African Rand, which is the illustration that I've, uh, I've shown you. USD stands for United States Dollar, and ZAR stands for South African Rand. So the currency pair that is on the left-hand side is called the base currency. It is the transaction currency. And the currency on the right hand side is the currency called the quote currency. But it's also called the counter currency. The base currency is always the larger currency in any currency pair. And the quote currency is the live exchange rate between the two currency pairs. So as I had showed you the illustration uh, earlier on of, of the live trading chart, the cold currency is the live exchange rate that we see moving as the candles move up and down on the chart. Okay. So as, a, as you can see, I've got an example in front of us here with the euro uh, versus the United States dollar. The euro on the left is the base currency in this example. And the United States dollar is the quote currency. At the bottom there, we've got the price, which is the live price in this illustration, which is one dollar and thirteen cents and comma zero two. Okay, so this is how it would look if you'd be trading on a chart. So we also have what we call the bid and the ask price. The bid price is the price that the dealer is willing to pay for a currency. Please, guys, if I'm moving too fast, just notify me in the comments. And I said the bid price is the price that the dealer is willing to pay for a currency. So the bid price is the trader's asking price, okay? So the ask price is the rate at which the dealer is willing to sell the same currency. So 
So I've got an example here showing us the bid price against the ask price. As I mentioned, the, the bid price is the price at which the buyer is willing to pay. And the ask price is the price at which the seller is willing to sell. And in between, we have what we call the spread, which is the difference between the bid and the ask price. So this is an illustration of how you would see it if you would be placing a trade on your chart. On the left-hand side, we've got the Great British Pound versus the United States Dollar, GDP, versus the USD. At the bottom, we've got a line there that's in the blue, which shows us the bid price. And above, we've got our ask price, which is in the red. And in between, the two, the bid and the ask price, we've got the spread, which as I mentioned is the difference between the bid and the ask price. So this is just an illustration uh, of how it would look as you're placing a trade live on, the, on your chart. This is uh, how it would literally look as you're placing your order and executing a trade. Okay, so you can also see here uh, on uh, under market execution on the left hand side is showing us the bid price, and on the right hand side it is showing us the ask price. Just uh, communicate with me if I'm not moving too fast, if everything is moving smoothly on your guys side. Okay, France, Francina says everything is moving fine. Okay, lovely. So in Forex, we have what we call pips. So a pip is a measure or measures the amount of change in the exchange rate of the currency pair and is calculated using the, the last decimal place or the fourth decimal place after the comma. Right, so this is basically the point system that we use in Forex to calculate if price is going up or down and measuring the movement of price as it goes up and down. All right. So once a trade position has been executed, you calculate the amount of points you have accumulated using PIPS. PIPS. So a lot is what as traders, we use to measure the size of each transaction taken when you place a position on your trading platform. When the order has been placed or executed, we execute and we calculate the quoted price in lots. Okay. This is an illustration or an example of what I've just mentioned. For example, here we've got $1 and 35 cents, 361 pips, all right? So the pip here is the fourth decimal place. The number six is our pip, is where we begin to calculate our pips, all right? So after the comma, the fourth decimal place is where we begin to calculate our pips. Okay, guys. And then we have what we call a lot size. A lot size is what we as traders use to measure the size of each transaction taken when you place a position on your trading platform. When the order is placed, it is quoted in lots. So I have an illustration here. On the left hand side, we've got what we call a standard lot. We've got what we call a mini lot, a micro lot, and a nano lot. So a standard lot is equivalent to 100,000 units. A mini lot is equivalent to 10,000 units. 
a micro lot is equivalent to 1000 units and a nano lot is equivalent to 100 units. So as we, as traders uh, communicate, we also call different lot sizes volumes. So one standard lot will be equivalent to one volume. So each pip movement that moves either to the upside or the down or the downside in one lot or one volume, you would accumulate ten dollars. With one mini lot, you would accumulate one dollar. With a micro lot, you would accumulate ten cents per pip. And one nano lot, you would accumulate one cent per pip. Okay. So we have gotten to the point where uh, we start talking about you opening up your own OctaFX trading account. So obviously, as I mentioned, when we as traders begin our trading journey, we find a reputable and trustworthy Forex broker. So OctaFX is a very reputable and trustworthy Forex broker. And I'll be showing you guys how you guys can open up and get yourself started using your own OctaFX um, trading accounts. So you can either go on the website, which is www.octafx.com, or you can download the app on your Play Store or on any of your, your, your stores on, on your devices, whether on Android or on Apple. So here is an, uh, an illustration of the OctaFX website where you can open up your account. And this is also where you can create your account once you have downloaded the app. All right, so once you've downloaded the app, you can choose your account, type whether uh, MetaTrader 5 or MetaTrader 4, and it will show you and illustrate to you um, the different options that you have uh, in terms of leverage, uh, which we'll speak more about later. So we've got our MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5 that you can use, that you can choose between the two. So once you start creating your um, your account using the app, you open up, for example, I've got this illustration of the OctaFX MT5 option here. So you go to settings and once you're on your settings, you open up on your real account. And once you open up your real account, you choose the United States or the Euro option which gives you an option between the two, whether you want to um, deposit and calculate your, your, your funds in, in United States dollars or in euros. And then you have your leverage here where you can pick your, your different leverage op options. So we have here one to 500. And once you have picked your one to 500 leverage, you can then press the option of creating a trading account. And once you have pressed on this uh, trade, create a trading account option, you will then see this next option here that you can see in this illustration that shows you that your real account is ready and shows you uh, that you can then begin to start trading and deposit money into your own trading account. So it'll also give you your login uh, details uh, and then you can get started with depositing. So the beautiful thing about OctaFX is that they have over 30, 12 to 30 different options that you can choose to make your deposit. All right. So as you can see here, we've got our South African local banks. We've got the cryptocurrency options, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, or uh, EFT Secure. We've got Ethereum. Got Litcoin and so on and so forth, Skrill, Ozo. So any option that you're looking for, we have got it here to get you started and going with your trading journey and to make your deposit very easy and seamless. All right. So once you've made your deposit, 
Once you made your deposit, you will see this trading accounts shown under here. And then once you are at this point, you can begin to trade. Okay. I hope that was understandable and everyone is good. Are we, is everyone good? Is everyone hearing and understanding how to get started by creating their own OctoFX trading account? Okay, lovely. So we are almost at the end of our presentation and I'll be asking you guys a few questions to see if you guys are were with me today and you guys took some notes. So just give me a thumbs up if you're ready for the question answer session. Just drop me a thumbs up there in the comment section. So we can see if you're ready for the question answer session. Let's give me a thumbs up there, guys. If you can hear me, Tabby is ready. We've got a fire sign from Tsipang Malife. Just give me a thumbs up if you're ready for the question answer session, guys. Can everybody hear me? Just give me a thumbs up if you can hear me and you're ready for the question answer session. Got a thumbs up from Lara Vs. Give us a thumbs up there so we can get started and get going with the question answer session, guys. We've got a ready from Derek. All right, so we'll start by asking our first question. What does Forex stand for? What does Forex stand for? If you took your notes, guys, you should understand and recall what Forex stands for. So what does Forex stand for? Just write it there in the comments. What does Forex stand for? Anele is ready. Anisipo is ready. Lesejo is ready. Oh, we've got Tabby it says Forex stands for foreign exchange. That's beautiful. What Twaki says foreign exchange. That is correct. Stimby so says foreign exchange. Okay, I'm glad to see that everyone was taking notes. I'm glad to see that everyone was taking notes. Dean says it stands for foreign exchange. Lesejo says it stands for foreign exchange. That's lovely. Okay. The next question, guys, that we have is Forex. Is Forex the largest or second largest traded market in the world? Is Forex the largest or second largest traded market in the world? And Tabi says it is the largest, it is the largest, 
Dean says it's the largest. Lovely, I'm lovely, lovely, lovely. I love to see that you guys were taking notes. Tim Biso says it's the largest. Elona says it's the largest. Dwaki says it's the largest. Great to see, great to see, guys. So which of the two currency pairs, which of the two currencies in a currency pair is the base currency? The currency on the left or the currency on the right? Remember, we've got our base currency and we've got our quote currency. So which of the two currency pairs, which of the two currencies on a currency pair is the base currency, the one on the left or the one on the right? Oh, the Dean says it's the first currency. Lovely, love to see it. Chapter says on the left, Tembi sources on the left, Kilile says on the left, Twaki says on the left. Great to see it. Love to see it, guys. Looks like everyone was taking notes. Kilile says on the left. Love to see it. Love to see it. I'm happy to see that everyone was taking notes, guys. It's very important. Elona says it's on the left. Untlantla says on the left. That is correct, guys. So the last question that we have, can you place a buy and sell trade in Forex? Can you place a buy and sell trade in Forex? Wiz says thumbs up, yes. Progress is uh, commenting on the previous question the largest which is correct and are we asking can you place a buy and sell trade in forex or you can you just place a buy so yes if you can place a buy and a sell no if you can just place a buy okay we've got <laughs> Tim Bisa says yes, oh sorry, yes. Good, good. Francina says, how does a stop loss work? How do you stop loss? Okay, in the coming um, webinars, we will be getting, getting more details uh, on, on questions such as stop losses, how to place orders and so forth and so on. So obviously this is just the first um, uh, of the introductory uh, webinars. So as time goes by, I believe in the second or the third webinar, we'll be covering how to place a stop loss. So just keep post, stay posted and uh, get ready for the next coming classes and we will, we will cover stop losses and so forth. Okay, Pilile says yes. Anisipo says yes, you can place a buy and a sell trade. Boy Melo says yes, that is correct, guys. You can place a buy and a sell trade in the forex industry, so you don't have to wait for the market to be bullish in order to monetize and make money. You can make money as the chart goes up by placing a buy order at the lowest point, as previously mentioned, and you can make money as price goes down by placing a sell order as price continues to move down at the highest point. All right. Yes, whereas the abbreviation is uh, for foreign exchange, for forex is foreign exchange. Yes, Tabby, we stay posted. We'll be having our sessions uh, in the coming dates. All right. So, guys, please don't forget when registering, uh, you can use my promo code Prince WS. Prince WS as you can see over here, to you get yourself a 100% trading bonus with OctaFX, guys. So this will obviously help you to ma maximize uh, your trading experience and also make it much easier for you to trade and make more money as you trade. 
So please use that promo code and take it to full advantage because that promo code is a single used promo code. You can use it only once and is available until the 12th of April. So it's time is limited. Open those uh, accounts and, and start funding your accounts and take advantage of this promo code and enjoy the benefits of getting yourself a 100% trading bonus. Okay, guys. So that is it for our webinar today. And I hope to see you on the upcoming webinar. Uh, we will be covering and speaking more in depth and continuing with the, the course uh, that we are running with at the moment. So um, I'm happy to, to be with you guys here. And I hope that you enjoyed our first session and see you in our coming class. Thanks, guys.